Flags are at half staff today to honor the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Governor Polis ordered the flags to be lowered last night after news of her death. Good evening. I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. This weekend, people all over the country and here in Colorado are remembering the brilliant champion for women's rights. Vigils were held tonight across the Front Range. CBS 4's Sean Chitness is here in the studio. And, Sean, you heard from a Colorado organization that once hosted Ginsburg. Yeah, they actually had the chance to do it a couple of times. Certainly a great honor for them. The Colorado Women's Bar Association is the second largest organization of its kind in the country. Last year, inspired in part by Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, they pushed for the equal pay for equal work law here in Colorado. Just one way she will have a lasting connection in our state. An American icon who changed the law and who practiced it for generations to come. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a true trailblazer. She was a fighter for equality for women and for all of us. Not just a historic figure as the second female justice ever and for a time the only one actively on the court, but also her work as a litigator. Her first major case was for a Colorado man going up against the IRS, arguing in favor of a tax deduction. She fought tirelessly to make our legal system and our nation more just, equitable, and inclusive. Graduating top of her class, Ginsburg shared later in life she couldn't find work at first as a Jewish woman who was a mother. I think that's one of the things that makes her so relatable to women and to women lawyers in particular because we, we all have our own struggles and she went through her struggles as well. In 1994, she visited members of the Colorado Women's Bar Association seen in this photo. Then in 2003, they would award her their highest honor and make her a lifetime member as well. I feel a sense of sadness from a lot of our members. Just a deep sense of reverence, a deep respect for the pioneering work that she did that helps lay the pathway for all of us going forward. Justice Ginsburg once said there will be enough women on the high court when there are nine. The Colorado Women's Bar Association works toward that dream by providing training programs for women to apply to judicial appointments and ultimately get more women on the bench. Kathy, back to you. Thank you, Sean. Well, the country is watching as leaders in Congress and the president gear up to replace Justice Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. And tonight, President Trump pledged to nominate a woman to the vacant seat by next week. But Republican senators about past comments over Supreme Court vacancies during election years. Colorado Senator Cory Gardner was among those who refused to hold a vote to confirm President Obama's nominee back in 2016. When asked about his comments back then, Senator Senator Gardner said it was too soon to move beyond the mourning of Justice Ginsburg. His political opponent, Governor John Hickenlooper, says the appointment should be delayed. We have some time for this country to reflect on the legacy of a great woman who led to our nation's highest court and the work that she has done for this nation, whether you agree or not. There is time for debate. There is time for politics. But the time for now is to pray for the family. We need to make sure that Senator Gardner upholds the commitment he made four years ago. It's the same circumstances, except more so. The Senate must not confirm a new justice until the American people have weighed in at the ballot box. President Barack Obama also weighed in on the issue today, saying in a statement that Senate Republicans must adhere to the same standard they set back in 2016.